got in camp. It was about eight other trucks where I parked and two outfitter camps. I think that's part of the issue here at least. It's maybe almost two weeks into season. I think today's the, well, maybe not even two weeks. It's Tuesday. Hopefully it's starting to die down a little bit as far as people. It is the week after Labor Day, so I know a lot of people have some time off. Just need to get some food in my body, get some gas in the truck. It's heavy and it's hot. Over the continental divide right now. Just past a few camps, people still sleeping. Working the morning shift today. A little stuffy if you can't tell. Let's hope we can find some elk. Alright guys, we got our first vehicle. It's uh, across this draw. And it's definitely not a hunter. It's a hunter, it's the best bugle I've ever. Yeah, I'm gonna head over there. Bull just shut up about five, ten minutes ago. Probably just gonna sit here for a bit and uh, listen, see if I hear something. I might get a little closer depending on the wind, but I'm in on them. It's good news. We got close, real, real close. I basically called the bull in to where I was and I did not have a setup. I think I just got excited. I knew I was going to do something like that. But man, is it a little disappointing. Get a good night's rest. Probably sleep in the truck. I might get a hotel. I mean, I don't know. Probably not. But going to get a good uh, meal in the morning. And we'll be back up to a different spot tomorrow for the afternoon hunt. About as far as in as it gets. And just trying to get my pack loaded up so we can head up the mountain. We're, um, we're heading up above tree line. Stoked to, to be where I'm at. I mean, it's like I said, about as far in 
as you can make it. Um, got somebody else coming up. It's an older dude with a couple other hunters. He was just dropping um, them off over there at the end of the trail. He did say there was a cow elk down the road crossing, so that is a good sign. Supposed to be a 20 degree bag, but got a little cold last night. So we're gonna go over to the ridge where I heard those elk here in just a few minutes. I'm gonna pack up right now, get everything in the bag, maybe find a better place to camp for tonight. I'm not sure if they blew out. It's possible since I did just camp on the other side of the ridge. Um, so we're gonna make some coffee head down the ridge a little bit more in a few minutes after we're done. It's about six o'clock. Sun's just coming up. Yeah, really looking forward to this coffee. Plan is I'm gonna head that way and keep hitting these canyons back and forth. See if I get a response. I'm gonna finish up this coffee and we will head that way. Man, this is beautiful. seen so far is someone hitting the road way down there. It's like sheep country up here. Oh, it's not, I don't know. Uh, we're just winging it here, guys. We're just trying to figure it out. So. Okay. So I've been sounding off into all these canyons and have had absolutely no response. So we're going to head over to the opposite side from where I parked and try the same thing. I made it from the other side of that hill down across into another bowl on the other side. My feet feel great. And we're gonna head over there. Not sure what I'm gonna do now. I think I'm gonna kind of reset and see if uh, grab some food or something. I'm gonna head over to another spot. I think. Uh, I'm not sure how many miles I've done today, but my legs are definitely feeling it. We're gonna grab some food. I'm probably just honestly gonna make a, a mountain house since I didn't eat one last night. Candy. We have a pizza. Some chocolate chip cookies. Let's make some food. We 
got a plan, kind of. We're heading back up to a spot that's, and I keep saying we, it's just me. But we're heading up to uh, the divide where I was a couple days ago, I'm passing right now like the main trailhead. And I think either today or yesterday was the start of muzzle loader season. So I don't know if you can see all the trailers all the horse trailers. That's the only way that you're gonna get in there. Unless you have an electric bike, which I don't. I do want to show you guys my brand new hiking sticks. And I'm pretty sure this was the squirrels or the chipmunks. I don't know. Obviously the salt in my hands from my sweat attracted whatever that was. It still worked, right? We're pretty close to where I first encountered that bull. And that's kind of why I came back to this area. Yeah, we're gonna pack up camp right now. Get going. We got a response again. Off of the same ridge. I got one for both of to make it over there as fast as I can before it gets too warm. Let's see if we can get it on them again. We're on top of the ridge. Well, a ridge. It's kind of glassing, mm, charging up my batteries. This solar charger, it takes forever. Been here for probably a good hour, made some coffee, made some breakfast or lunch. Kind of hoping it will pick up towards the evening. Probably gonna head down the trail a ways. I ran into uh, three hunters on the way up. All three guys were from Pennsylvania and they said they made a 30 hour trip out to this unit in Colorado. I have enough uh, gear to last me probably three more days down here, but it is one heck of a hike back up. Oh, and back to these hiking sticks with the uh, cork eaten out of them. Pretty sure it was done by a group of squirrels that were in the area. Honestly, I kind of like the new, new fit. pack loaded up with a bunch of water so it should be good for the next few days at least as long as I'm here I don't know if I'm gonna stay here uh, tomorrow night I'll probably pack to another spot just depending on what the elk situation is like I've got the bow here just in case and they say we got a pack full of water so it's um, about 9.30. Jesus, this fire's not the wind switched on me. Of course. And then it's fine again. It is the start of muzzleloader season today. It's also the weekend. I think I mentioned earlier that I ran into about four other hunters on the way down here on the same trail. They were in on them. They were hearing them. And they had a good opportunity at one bull apparently we'll see what happens tomorrow morning when we head out i'm just gonna probably wait till this fire dies out get my stuff loaded in the tent get everything kind of ready for tomorrow and it'll be up before sunrise so yeah good night see you in the morning
slept in through my alarm, like two or three alarms actually. I was exhausted from hiking, but just sent out a couple bugles on both sides of this little knob I'm on. It is Saturday. It is the second day of muzzleloader season. We could just be feeling the pressure. That's what I'm banking on. I might take a different trail than um, the one I came down here on. So it could be a bull. It could also be a hunter. I'm not sure if even the mic picked that up, but it's pretty far off. All right. So that might have been a bad choice. There was nothing for me to hold on to. I felt like two or three times. Luckily, I didn't get impaled by a damn log. That bull has not made a sound since, or that hunter, whatever it was. It is getting warm, so I'm not about to drop into this canyon if it's a hunter or if you know, this bull seemed like it was probably half mile out from where I am, and it's deep into canyons. We're heading back up. I was going to stay in town tonight, but I ended up getting some dinner, got a burger, and now we're at a whole nother trailhead on the opposite side of the unit. I'm going to just sleep in the bed of the truck, going to roll out the... Um, the air mattress. It's going to be an early start. Getting the battery charged right now. Just kind of waiting for that stuff to charge up. Going to get the rest of my stuff ready. We'll see you in the morning. So I just bumped a bull out of his bed just down this uh, draw a little bit. There was a ton of sign in there, a lot of fresh rubs. And I'm up here right now at one of the uh, high alpine meadows. I thought the bull might've came up this way, but I think he might've circled around. I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit. The wind just changed on me, it's going up now. It's about 5.30, other than this morning. It's been a very quiet day. I think I see some hunters over there. Well, I'm gonna start glassing and we'll see ya in the next clip. situated for tomorrow. I have a group of elk below me, about 800 vertical feet. I'm gonna try and get on them tomorrow morning. I have a good idea where they're bedding. It's a similar location to where I did see the five point bull and I bumped him out of his bed. It might take me a day or two to get over there, but I have enough supplies here to get me through uh, at least four days, if not five. Uh, there was about five cows down there and I know that there's a bull around. I think he might be part of the same herd. It's all in the same basin, and if not, uh, we're just gonna try and find another one. But I'm excited for tomorrow. Still feeling good. Was feeling a little bit homesick yesterday. I did talk to my kids, and it was great to hear from them, but man, it really made me miss them.
definitely gonna put in as much time as I can here. And I'm gonna try and finish out this whole um, three week stay that I have planned. I'm gonna hit the hay and we're gonna get to it tomorrow morning. Got a little bit of an issue today. I rolled over on top of my water bladder or the, um, the mouthpiece that connects to it. And all of the water that was in my bladder is inside my tent. So I've been draining it. My sleeping bag's soaking wet. My tent is soaking wet. Everything's kind of just laid out. Putting a little bit of a delay on the hike this morning. But I think I'm just going to end up um, just putting everything in the bag anyways. First things first, we need to find water. I need some coffee and I need some water. I have two water bottles, like the regular size, but that ain't going to work. The uh, creek that Onyx led me to was completely dry. So I followed it up a little bit and we got water. This leaf here, just a little bit of a. Oh, yeah, that's so nice. There we go. Just hit this um, really nice water source, kind of a pool, about three feet deep, I guess. It was a little bit, um, actually very steep coming down, so I had to kind of drop into this little river valley. This is actually a major uh, river system that runs into, this is the main river is what I'm trying to say. About to get the hiking again, had some snacks, rinsed off, got some water. Make sure I was topped off for the for the night because I will be camping. I'm pretty far away from the truck. We are just gonna be hiking for the rest of the day pretty much until we get to a spot where we can glass and kind of get out of the wind. We got a plan. It's been very quiet all of today. I haven't heard a single bugle. When it gets cooler, towards nighttime, I'm gonna start bugling a little bit more. And I'm gonna see if I can find some sign down there. So I'm gonna circle down and then head back further in. That is what I'm gonna do. It's 8.30 and just finished up dinner. Sitting by this little fire I made. I'm trying to think of a plan for tomorrow. We don't really have one yet. I don't know. I didn't hear much today. Didn't hear anything actually. But we're gonna do it again tomorrow and we're gonna hope for the best. It's getting pretty cold and windy. My stomach's so full from eating all these snacks today. Hopefully. Tomorrow brings something better. I'm gonna clean everything up and get ready for tomorrow. Tent's already set up. Just need to get my bag ready. But I will check in with you guys first thing in the morning. It's about 6 a.m. Sun's just coming up. And let's get to hiking.
the back of the truck. I need to uh, pick up, see if I can find a bugle tube since I had left mine about four miles back into this canyon. I stopped and of course the thing's camouflage and I left and didn't even see it. I'm gonna see if I can uh, maybe just take a shower. It's been a while since I've gotten cleaned up and starting to smell it. My socks are all pretty much solid at this point. Also gonna grab some food, maybe pick up some more snacks at Walmart. We're not quitting yet. We still got plenty of time to get it done. Really enjoying the time that I'm spending out here. So not anywhere near being ready to leave yet. Gonna head back to town right now and we'll check back with you guys in a little bit. Good morning. Yet again, another trailhead. And I'm gonna do about a four mile hike into the area where I'm gonna be hunting at today or for the next few days. I'm loaded up enough for five days. We start getting into elk. Got plenty of supplies to last us until uh, we get one down, hopefully. abandoned outfitter camp. I just take a nap right now. I'm exhausted. I slept like crap last night. I ended up sleeping in the back of the truck, which was absolutely not comfortable and very cold. Maybe like an hour nap and then we'll be back to hunting. We'll probably head up this ridge, see if we can glass something or hear something tonight. Until then, I'm gonna take a nap. I'm feeling a lot better. I uh, was able to maybe get my 45 minutes of sleep, which is all I needed, apparently. I'm going to fill up some water and then I'm going to head up to the ridge and I think we're going to camp up there tonight. We're going to get out of this outfitter camp that I stopped at. just kind of want to show you guys what they got going on. First of all, they left a ton of stuff. It's a mess. They left all their camp fuel. They got a, like a wash bowl in here. They left some tools, stove, and there's more stuff even over there. What is kind of cool, a couple cow elk skulls that are very old. They, there was a newspaper that they picked up from 2016 on Memorial Day. But other than these two cow schools, they yeah, have this guy. I mean, you can see the difference in size compared to these two. These all, all I mean, they could have been younger. No, they don't have the pedicles. I mean, this one could have been a bull. Like, they chopped off, looks like they chopped off half of its skull. But I'm just going to put this back because I'm not going to take this stuff. But somebody who sees it just sitting out here might. We're going to pack up the bag, get it all loaded. We're going to head up the mountain. up there I might have gone over to the next ridge which is fine because I'm just gonna end up camping down into uh, the bottom so my wind will not blow him out hopefully and if he's not in here um, 
just gonna head over to the next one, which is getting closer to the truck. I think that's about eight miles right now from the trailhead. We're gonna keep tabs on this bull. The wind's perfect right now, it's in my face and it's going up and over. See if I hear anything, see if he comes back to this side. I don't know. I'm sure there's a lot of elk sign around here. a spike. He came in probably at between 10 and 15 yards. I wonder if it's the same bull. I can still hear him up there. <clears throat> I can still hear some like real distant bugles pretty far off. All he needed was a few more broad tines. I would have smoked him. Man, that was so cool. We're gonna stay here for a while. Seems like a pretty good spot. Just pitched the tent. We can throw this stuff in there. I can hear a bugle over there. I doubt my phone will pick it up. I just heard a muzzleloader shot go off over on the opposite side of the, um, there's a basin here. I think it was on the other side of that ridge. I was actually over there two days ago and I did see a bunch of cow elk. So I know that there is definitely elk in this area where I'm at. So I think this is a good place for me to stay for a little bit. Not much else to show you guys. Kind of in a burn area. Let me show you what it looks like. Uh, kind of a weird way to show you. I am going to get ready for bed. I know it seems early, but there's still a little bit of light out. But I am exhausted. I did, I think, a little over 10 miles today. And I don't know how many feet I gained, but definitely a couple thousand. It's about 6 o'clock. Woke up like 15 minutes ago. Exhausted still. Fell asleep at nine. Beat him last night. Let's see if we can look locate these elk. And then make a plan. I haven't heard much this morning, but I heard a lot last night. So I'm gonna send off a couple of bugles that way.
How's the look? I could say things are getting pretty serious. This actually isn't base paint. This is charcoal from one of the burnt down trees right next to me. I heard bugles all last night. Nothing this morning except for like a faint bugle way off. And I think an elk below me might have barked at me. Not sure. I think I'm in a really good spot. I'm gonna probably camp here for the next two or three days. It's supposed to rain today and tomorrow. There's a pretty good chance. So we'll see how that goes, if that kicks them up. We're just gonna stay here for a little while. It's still pretty early. Just wanted to uh, let you guys know I uh, got this uh, all taken care of. When I sweat a lot, my face gets super shiny, so I need a little bit of declare. clouds so it's really messing with like the thermals of this valley here. So I'm trying to figure it out. I have an opportunity here. I got that full still over here vehicle. The wind is just all over the place right now. So I'm trying to stay in a spot until the wind becomes more consistent. Just the top part of his like back strap spurring area was showing. I didn't want to shoot an arrow straight into the dirt. Check this with the mask. working this bull all day and I think I have them bedded again up 
here. We let out like a lazy bugle. Twice in a row. It was like a woo -woo, woo -woo. And it could have been a hunter. It could have been a hunter celebrating that he just killed the bull that I've been after all day. bugled back at me but it sounds a little different so you might either be call shy or it could be that hunter or a hunter that just bugled back at me it's starting to get real cloudy it rained a little bit on me earlier so we'll see what happens I hope that bull is still alive is still alive. I'm telling you guys, that thing was massive. Please don't be alive. Please. He's still there. He just sat it on a couple times and he answered back to me. So I have about an hour of daylight left. Tomorrow is going to be the move. He's just doing this lazy bugle. He doesn't want to get fired up right now, which it's okay because it's about 45 minutes until dark. And it's sprinkling a little bit. Taking the opposite side of the mountain. Gotta hope and pray to God that he's there in the morning. Can wake up early in the dark and arrow this bull. I have to go into the face paint again. Uh oh. I have an idea what it looks like. I came down from that bottom twice. Dropped down this morning, went up the other side, came back down, got water, and what we're doing is trying not to blow the elk out. The wind goes down in the, in the evening. I do not want my wind to hit this bull at night. It's my satellite phone again. I swear that thing is going to be the reason I don't tag out. See you guys at camp. I had to set up the tent really quick because this rain started earlier. Uh, the wind was just nuts. So I threw on my rain gear, got my stuff set up. It was still soaking wet. I ate a bunch of food, ate the rest of the food that I had for today. I've got some pretty gnarly blisters on my feet. I will save you guys the visual on that one, but take my word for it. It's not good. I'm like using the bottom of my trekking poles both of them at one time like it feels like you're mountaineering more than hiking some of these like implants that i need to go up and mainly just to keep the wind in my favor gonna wrap my feet up gonna listen to this rain i'm gonna go to bed it poured rain last night everything's soaking wet I think I'm just going to attach the rain fly to the back of my backpack. And I'm going to head down that way, see if I can find this bull. It seems a little closer. They say you're not supposed to leave elk to find elk. And could that not be any more true in this situation? I eat my breakfast. It's Sunday. Oh, it's got to be close to like 8.30, 9 o'clock maybe. Everything was wet. Everything was slippery. I fell probably 15 times coming down that hill. And I even broke a knock on one of my arrows. Well, I bent it. So I bent it back in place. 
moved it to the end of the quiver. Made some breakfast. Got some coffee going. Yeah, letting everything kind of dry out. Because everything, everything is soaking wet. That's the ridge I was sleeping on last night. Let's clear up that second knob. I know they are in here. I mean, it's possible. You could still be up there. There's like a burned area or a beetle kill area up there. It's right up there. That's exactly where I heard the bugle coming from this morning. So, new plan. Heading back to the same canyon. I was hunting yesterday with that huge bull in there. I did hear him pipe off once this morning, but this guy over here was just firing off, which is why I thought I could make a move on him. I honestly thought he was bedded on the opposite side of where I was sleeping. But that's how it goes. Had a great opportunity yesterday and I'm looking to make that happen again with hopefully that same bull. Everything's muddy. Everything's messy. But I'm feeling great still. Honestly, wish I had more time. It's going to take me five trips, at least. Four or five trips to get this bull out of this canyon. Or out of any of these canyons. So, which in turn would probably be four or five days. And I'd be running it close. Um, as far as the time that I have off and the time that I would need to pack this bull out. All we need is one more opportunity like we had yesterday. And pretty sure I can make it happen this time. So I'm just going to finish up my breakfast, finish up my coffee, pack up, get all these damn ants off my stuff. We'll head out. All right. You wouldn't believe this climb that I just did. So this big bull I'm after might be dead. I dropped down the other side of the ridge and when I was coming back around, I was following some boot tracks out of, there's an outfitter camp way up there. I could see some guys walked out of there fresh out of the rain. And I heard a muzzleloader shot on the other side of the ridge. This bull might be dead. But we're gonna still try and get up as high as we can on the ridge because the wind's gone up for the most part. I hope he's not. Once again, I hope he's not dead. I haven't heard a bugle all morning. Well, since I first woke up and they're all over the place, but I think the ones that I went after were the guys at the camp that circled around the same way that I did. So I might have been tricked. Or I might have led them exactly to where this big bull is. Well, they killed him. At least I'm pretty sure it was him. He was in pretty much the same spot. I thought he was bedded last night. So I'm thinking it had to have been him. I heard them talking, I yelled hello. But they didn't answer. So I kept hiking and I, they got louder and I realized they were above me. So I kind of walked out on the trail and then um, blasting up. A bunch of outfitters, guys with uh, muzzle loaders, which is cool. I mean, killing up with a muzzle loader, that's awesome. I could see the horns on the head laying down and it was huge. I mean, it must have been the same bull because it was just massive. Like, it looked a little darker, but that could have been because it was in the tr um, there in the timber. But this bull's horns looked white, like almost like chalk white. So, I mean, I don't know. I might just take a nap or something, I don't know. It's just 
it's about nine o'clock, I guess. I just finished my mountain house. I actually had the chicken and dumpling one today, which was not bad. I've had a couple other mountain houses that are not that great, but I would definitely have that one again. And then I'm just finishing the rest of my candy, my watermelon Sour Patch Kids. I'm gonna go to sleep soon. I heard a bugle from a bull. I called him down from pretty high up right before I went to bed. I just um, took my bow and my phone and the jacket and of course my release and everything. I didn't bring the pack and that was the first I've actually gone away from um, my pack this entire trip. I was able to get around a lot easier so I might try that again tomorrow. I don't know. I'm gonna get some sleep and I will see you guys in the morning. It's a little late today, I think it's around seven. Filtering some water. For my breakfast and for the day. I just switched the uh, the pack into like a like a day pack mode. Took everything out of it. I'm gonna leave camp where it's at and just hunt around here. I had a bull last night up the valley a little bit that was definitely fired up. So we'll go see if he's still there. Yeah. So I'm just gonna get to this real quick. We're gonna get moving. Here's the situation. I have six days total. And that gives me enough time to get home, get ready for work. It's gonna take me five trips from this point. Well, from any point, back to my truck for me to get an elk out. I'm seeing, oh, I'm seeing elk in this canyon. I know they're here. But I think the fact that I'm just in here so much is keeping the activity relatively low. Plus, that huge bull got killed in this area. But back to the time. I have six days, five trips total. I'm four, maybe five miles in. Ah, and that's a straight hike. I'll, I'm gonna have to figure out a way, side hilling to get a bull out of this canyon. which I'm not unwilling to do that at all. Desperate times call for desperate measures. So I'm gonna pack camp back up. I can't sit in this canyon much longer before I totally blow it out. Hike up to this ridge and start circling the mountain again, like I was doing before. I mean, I don't know what else to do. I've seen more elk in this area than anywhere else. So I think I should stay here for the next day or two. But that's all I have, really. Because if I hike back to the truck, it's a full day's hike. Well, half day's hike. I'm gonna have to come back in. It's gonna take me five more trips. So what? I mean, the amount of effort it's going to take me to come back in this canyon, I don't know. I'm going to have to think about it. Another change of plans. So I'm going to hike back out up to the ridge. I spotted another camp. Well, actually another hunter. I said, hey. And I said, hey, back. Acknowledge each other, waved. I heard him bugling down the canyon, so I kind of um, headed towards him once I packed up my camp. And once I passed him, I saw two massive teepees. Well, the new like style, um, like a tent teepee with a stove jack thing. But a huge camp. All their food was hung up in the trees around. Which, you know, there's bears, but I don't know if it's like that. Too many people. Too many people down in that area. Got the outfitters on one side, 
you had me in the middle, and then you have that massive teepee camp with who knows how many people in there. There's four bags of food hung up, so I'm guessing four guys. Kind of hoping I run into the outfitter with that bull to see if he um, is willing to show me what it looks like. I'd love to see it. I'm telling you guys, one of the most beautiful bull elk I've ever seen. And you know, that might have been because it was in person. Even then, I'd love to see it. I'm about three quarters of a mile back to the truck. Sand mountain lion and bear sign everywhere. Probably the fifth switch back. I've done about eight water crossings. My boots are completely saturated. That might be it for the trip. Which is okay with me. When it's all said and done, I would have had to kill that bull today. Or a bull today. There's just too many people in the area. I know it might sound like I'm making excuses, and I might be, but it does not seem like the odds are in my favor right now. I've learned a lot. Been here for two weeks straight. Well, two weeks and one day for next year, which I'm already thinking about. I'd like to find an area that holds more elk. I'll do it all over again solo if I have to. Until next time. See you later, Colorado.